Morning everyone, welcome po sa ating second day uh, of our 40th week of our daily devotions and today we'll be looking at Romans chapter 7 verse 25 and this is how it reads Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord so then I myself serve the law of God with my mind but with my flesh I serve the law of sin and this is what we read this galing po sa devotion ni John MacArthur and the title is Hope in the Battle. Hope in the Battle. And it reads, Since Christians are called to obedience and the new nature longs to obey, what do you do when you are tempted to disobey? Magandang tanong. We are no longer uh, bound by the law. We can no longer be condemned by the letter of the law, but we have been changed so beautifully from within therefore we obey not just the letter of the law but the spirit the heart of the law because th that's who we are and now since we are called to obey and yung ating bagong um, um, nature well if anyone is in Christ is a new creature our new nature longs to obey what do you do now since we still are in the flesh di ba? what do you do when you are tempted to disobey MacArthur continues, For one thing, you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. That's a difference. Before, uh, we had no choice. Before we were saved, we had no choice. We were enslaved by um, sin. But now, the Spirit of God is residing in us. We have the, the power now to say no and to just uh, obey the Lord. We ha you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you who enables you to do the will of God. But Paul also describes the reality of our ongoing battle with the flesh in Romans 7. Diba? Sabi ni Paul, the things that I want to do, uh, the things that I don't want to do, this, this I keep on doing. The things that I, I want to do, I, that's what I do not do. He says in verse 23 of chapter 7, I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. The sin principle in our humanness wars against our desire to obey. But the uh, beauty there is there's struggle. Because before, there were no struggles. It's a free for all. We justify, we deny that things that we do are sin. Diba? But now, there is a struggle. Diba? You, you experience that. Whenever you uh, do something that you know is displeasing to the Lord, you struggle, you are crushed. Therefore, there is indeed a battle between your flesh and your spirit. Every Christian fights that battle. Your humanness wars against the new cre creation that delights in the law of God. Lakas ng ulan. Right? It's raining, raining really hard. What gives us hope in, is that the longer we fight the battle, the more victorious we will be. So there should be a ongoing, continuous battle in you would see how God would graciously give you indeed the victory over certain sins. Right? So thank the Lord for continuing His work to deliver you and give you victory each day from sin. And praise the Lord indeed. How do we battle sin? Sabi sa Romans 7, present your members as slaves to righteousness. Before you were slaves to sin, but now we should be presenting every member of our bodies into unto righteousness. So it's a battle talaga. It's a matter of discipline. It's a matter of deciding to um, honor God. Because before we were not able to, but now we have the Holy Spirit to battle indeed. To, to say no to the lust of the flesh and uh, to say yes to obeying God. Right? So what a beautiful reminder for all of us as we all battle with uh, uh, sin. And lalo ngayon, di ba, sa pandemia, we battle with uh, doubt, we battle with grumbling, we battle with, battle with complaining unto God, right? Or we battle with blaming people, blaming other people sa nangyari. Well, I pray that we would choose to obey and please God because we are able to, because of the Holy Spirit residing in us, right? Sige po, uh, it's really raining hard as I'm uh, recording this. So let me just close in prayer and I pray that you, I pray that as you're watching this, hindi maulan. Alright, so let's pray. 
Lord, we thank you again for uh, this wonderful reminder that indeed uh, your spirit resides in us and therefore we have uh, the ability to battle the temptations from within, from our flesh. We pray that we would choose to glorify you and honor you by uh, presenting every member of our bodies to righteousness. We pray that we would uh, focus our minds on whatever is true, pure, holy, and, and uh, beautiful. And that is to say, we should focus our eyes on you. So Lord, salamat na marami sa araw nito. We continue to pray that you'd be with us. Give us joy, Lord, even in the pandemic. Give us peace. And we pray, Lord, that you would uh, bless, protect, preserve, and provide for all our needs. In Christ, let me pray. Amen and amen. I hope you're still hearing me. It's really raining hard. So, ingat po kayo. I hope it's not raining while you're watching this. Uh, God bless you.